Hi there! Well, are you up for an adventure? Well, we'll sail in the skies and discover floating cities with lots of valuables. Are you with me? You are? Oh yeah, cool, cool, cool. Let's go. There will be some pirates, but yeah, I got a sword, you know? <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Wow, look at this magnificent ship. It even has a propeller, turns around, spins around. But the game comes with a 3D model. It's kind of a trend now, isn't it? Like a Cold Express with a cool train. Anyway, when I see this, I kind of want to play this game. So that's a bonus. Okay, how does this game work? Well, we want to travel from city to city. And each time we progress, the city will become more valuable. But sometimes we may crash. Uh, one of these passengers here, or players, will be the captain for each round. So let's say I am the captain. I will roll these dice to determine the dangers on the way. And I will use cards on my hand to defeat or you know, get through the dangers. And it's very simple actually. So, as a captain, it's my duty to safely transport us to the next city. I will roll two dice as indicated here on the next city. Oh, a cloud and an eagle. Getting icons is not a good thing. Those are dangers. But I will say, oh, oh, you should jump off now. I don't have a card. So, we go around the table, and people are going to stay on the ship or jump off. So Black is going to jump off, and he gets one of the cards here in the city he's standing in. So you see, each city has cards uh, next to them, and the longer we get, the higher the value of the cards. Uh, purple will also jump off, but the rest will stay, including me, because the captain cannot go off. So I will announce now, okay, I can do it, because I have both a cloud and an eagle, like so. So even though I said it didn't work, I have to play it if I have it. If I have an eagle and a cloud, I must play it. So I'll play it and we will advance. Now, the next person that is on the ship, around the table, will be the captain. The ones who jumped off will have to wait. So now he has to roll the dice indicated on the next city. Roll, and people will say, are you on with us or not? And now it's my turn as well to indicate if I want to join or stay or jump off. And one eagle is kind of non-risk, but maybe it doesn't have it, or yeah, who knows. So I'm gonna stay. And that's the game, actually. Some of these cards are not for dangers. They are actually special cards. So let's see, we have this one. This one will allow you to jump off the ship if the captain crashes. So you can get the treasure where you stood. It's kind of good to have. This one will force the captain to re-roll his uh, color dice with the one with the resu results. Either to get blanks, or to get a different result, which the captain doesn't have, maybe. This one is a wild card, can be used against any danger. This one will force another player to jump off, even though they said they want to stay. So this is kind of nice to have. This one is for players who are not on board, and want to, the captain to reroll all the blank results, to make it more dangerous. So the game is Celestia. This one is a good, good game. I really, really like this. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's easy to learn. It's a great family game, and it's up to six players. So uh, every time I play this, it's just a lot of fun because you always have the feeling of do I dare to do this? Can I trust this person, this captain, to to go to the next level? Should I jump off now? But if I jump off now, the the other ones will maybe advance and get more valuable treasures. But then oh, oh, oh it's a lot of those uh, oh, and it totally works. So. This game really provides what it wants, and it is a great push of luck. It is a reprint of Cloud9, so this one is, has a 3D model and just great components. Uh, yeah, it's a good, good game. But there are a couple of problems, uh, production value problems, like the dice here. The lightning is kind of hard to see at times in bad lighting. Uh, because the blank one is, well, you can see, you see it now probably, but when you're playing it, you will probably not see the lightning at all times, especially if it's on the other side of the table. It's like, oh, he only has a cloud. It's easy. Oh, you had lightning too? Oh. And also, the cards, uh, icons on the cards are very similar to each other. Um, I don't have a problem with myself, but I have experience with uh, actually many players who always have to kind of look at the rule book and uh, they have to uh, analyze the cards because the rules don't really just show the icon, it shows the miniature of the card. And for some reason we look at the icon instead and try to compare the card against the miniature in the rule book and hmm, what does it mean? So you should probably get a printout or a handout for these cards and symbols because 
it really slows the game down when you have people who want to look at the rule book all the time before they play a card. And maybe they feel insecure and but uh, can I can I ask about this card? No, I can't. And yeah. Otherwise, uh, except for those couple of minute, uh, is it called minute? Uh, small uh, uh, production problems, this game is a blast. Totally, highly recommend this game. Okay, thank you for watching. Also, if you'd like to contribute or help me support in any way, uh, please make a comment uh, on how to, I can improve these uh, videos. Uh, and also, uh, you can check out my Patreon account and you might uh, give me a contribution of uh, yeah, whatever you want. And everything helps me a lot, so thank you. Okay, thanks for watching this episode and I hope to see you again in next time. See ya! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.